okay. If, would you believe that this is the third attempt I've made at trying to take a video of this godforsaken abomination that's here on my husband's work desk? Um, anyway, today, instead of, instead of doing anything more productive with my life, I am fucking around with, uh, this iteration of Ironwood. Um, this right here is our new batch of casts on the TTM-19 Hot Toys Body Bootleg Edition on a world box. I believe it's the Hyper Durable standard body it's some stupid name uh the lower half is that as you can see because they are clearly mismatched in color but you know i'm gonna fix that um so yes as i am doing right now the hot toys body by default absolutely does not have a good neck it is the longest fattest most insane neck and should you purchase one of our beautiful ironwood heads here there's nothing holding that head on it's just sitting on a really mangled neck um if you decide to purchase one of our beautiful ironwood heads uh unfortunately it's just not going to work on that hot toys ttm 19 body you're going to have to whittle the neck down or you're going to have to hollow the head out so much that it's going to be like paper thin on the sides but yes what i've been doing and my camera's just terrible and not focusing like usual is just whittling the heck out of the neck down it is much better than it was i took off maybe maybe three centimeter, uh, centimeters, millimeters from the top of it, and it still looks a bit long and fat, but it is a big amount better than it was, like significantly better. It is passably okay and not deformed looking at the moment. But um, yes, if you could not have guessed, um, I, this is the one I'm going to be putting a bunch of cyborg parts on. And conveniently, the only good thing about this godforsaken abomination of the Hot Toys TTM-19 body is that there is a seam on the side, the right side, that you can peel off to get all of the inside parts out of this soft vinyl torso sleeve. And I was just, it was so convenient, and I just cried a little, and I'm like, oh, that's gonna be covered by robot parts, I'm so happy, I can just be absolutely lazy and just mangle the fuck out of it, and no one will see it or care. So yeah, he's just a hot mess right now, as I, uh, mess around with him, and all this other fun stuff. Uh, and I really wish I could go closer with my camera, but I am stuck on manual focus. This particular camera app which is not Google Camera, which I cannot seem to find anymore. It's just like, I, I can't manual focus. It's just, the camera does what it wants. I am at, I am at like, just the mercy of this god-awful camera app. And I'm just gonna really quickly try and get some good shots of these heads. Why won't you focus? Everything is terrible. Just focus on there. Okay, they're kind of in focus. 30,000 fucking feet away. Um, yes, the one on the left, of course, is our new batch of casts. The one on the right is a warped one. You can kind of tell, sort of, kind of. This one, yeah, it's really not showing up very well. This one, the whole left side of the face is pushed forward, and you can really tell it with the chin, but it's, of course, not showing very well in these photos. But yes, um, Switchum also did some slight changes to the new batch. He narrowed and made his, he narrowed his face down and made his face a little bit more symmetrical. And he, because our initial casting guy, in his extreme idiocy, ripped off the forehead plate somehow when he was taking it out of, taking our master from the silicone mold, uh, the forehead plate is not as pronounced in this different version. And I just, I can't. I'm just so over life, the universe, and everything right now. Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's it. And I have this guy just chilling out on his, yeah, just, just dead, headless, just, all right. Anyway, goodbye, friends.